fried chicken jar right so as you know I live in Hong Kong at the moment and recently moved here but it's not like a long-term plan for me I love living here but I only want to stay for about three years so I have time to like travel Asia and also like people come and visit me and things like that so now I'm kind of thinking about what I should do after Hong Kong so I did what any rational person would do is I took a quiz on the internet what country should you be living in? Question 1. A great pastime for you consists of A. Drinking alcoholic beverages, smoking, shooting a gun, eating or coming up with inventive ways to riddle your enemies. Well I am a Slytherin so the last one is definitely, but let's be honest, it's number 1. Question 2. When outdoors you enjoy A. Skiing B. Visiting the beach C. Climbing a mountain D. Visiting a historical site or E. Marching I'm not really much of a beach person, I find it quite boring. I don't like doing any kind of sports, as I said in my last video. I love history, so visiting a historical site is amazing. Pompeii is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been in my whole life, and it's probably the oldest place that I've been. Question 3. Given these choices, what would you prefer to eat? A. Noodles, B. Tacos, C. Steaks, D. Hamburgers, or E. Mashed potato and sausages. It's either noodles, steak or tacos. I don't like tacos because I, I like taco related places like I love burritos and chimichangas and everything like that. So I'm swaying towards that but then I just think oh noodles are just so easy and just so uh, uh, yeah noodles. I'll go with noodles. It's probably healthier than tacos. Question 5. A country's past is more important than the future. Not important. It's what shapes its mental land, something to be proud of and is best not to dwell on. Definitely what shapes it. Definitely. I think a country is definitely, I think a country's past is definitely what shapes it. Whether you move forward or from that or whether you stick traditions is the country's own making. But definitely the, the past has an influence on the future. You leave for the sound of a Frenchman, an American, a German, a Japanese person or anything that you don't understand. This is going to sound strange because it's closer to where I am now but I'm Japanese. But that's only because I love Americans. I really, I was born in Germany, I want to work in Germany, I want to work in France and I want to move to California. At some point, Japan just doesn't really interest me. Do you often buy chewing gum or bubble gum? I don't see what that has to do with anything to do with what country I live in. Unless there's countries that's like strictly forbidden? I don't know. Is, is that a thing? Do, do you come from a country where you are not allowed to chew the things that you want to chew? If you could learn another language, it would be an Asian language, a European language, or an African language. I'd really like to learn an African language just because I don't know any currently, but at the same time, Mandarin is the most spoken language in the entire world, so, and given that I live quite close to China and a lot of people speak Mandarin here, yes, I'm going to go with an Asian language. See my results? <laughs> That's so great! Like, that is a genuine result. I'm in the wrong part of China, except I'm not, because if I was in the Republic of China, I wouldn't be able to make YouTube videos. Wow. You belong in China, sowing the seeds of global communism. For now, you lay low, quietly, like a tiger. But soon, you know your time will come, and you'll have a job to do. For now, your content, enjoying your meal, listening to your rules wrap around your mind, sipping all the tea. That's not racist at all. What? Um, so that was fun. So that's what happens when you take the internet's advice on things. I don't know, I just enjoyed taking like silly quizzes and surveys and stuff. Um, if you do, there is this really good website, it's called Opinion Outpost. I'll link it down below. Basically just answer like lifestyle questions and stuff and it's just, it's good, it helps real research and it's something that I like to do. You also earn cash as well with the surveys that you answer. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not like a quick fix thing or anything. You're not going to become rich instantly and it's nothing like that but it is really fun to do. They give out cash prizes as well as Amazon gift cards and it's just really fun. It's a good thing to do. You just get paid and rewarded for giving your opinions and it's free to sign up. I like it anyway and I like to share things that I like with you. Also another thing that I like is Daniel J. Layton. He is a super super good YouTuber and deserves a lot more subscribers and he's just hilarious and charming and I want his babies. This survey actually got me really interested. It's like, if you could live in any country in the world, which country do you most want to live in and why? The plan was this year, before I ended up moving to Hong Kong, was to move to Italy and become a teacher there. I just love how traditional it is. I love all the historical buildings. I love that it's still like vibrant and there's like, Milan and Rome and I love Italian food, Italian people, just everything. I just love it. Blah, 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 blah.